Big Ben and Westminster Palace. A British icon. A little over 150 years ago, metal workers in East London made a bell that was that has become a British icon. Its name is Big Ben. It sits in a huge clock tower named Elizabeth Tower in London, United Kingdom, UK, measuring 2.7 meters wide and 2.2 meters tall, and weighing in over. In at over thirteen metric tons, fourteen dot three tons, this bell was pulled. Was pulled sixty one meters up to a belfry, as a tower in eighteen fifty eight. It took thirty hours to get it there. Today, the clock tower is one of the most photographed and most widely known landmarks in the world. <laughs> The Great Fire in eighteen thirty four, over two hundred years after Guy Fox was captured on October sixteenth, eighteen thirty four, two workmen were ca- were carrying out orders to burn a large quantity to sticks that of sticks that were that people used as an early accounting system. They were told to burn these sticks inside the furnaces in the basement of Parliament visitors and Parliament that they that they noticed an unusual amount of heat rising from the floor, and and smoke escaping floor from the through the floorboards. The workmen continued to burn sticks and put the furnaces out at five p.m. Five p.m. An hour later, at six p.m., the pyramid that were complete was completely in flames. All the buildings in the Westminster Palace were eventually destroyed, except except for Westminster Hall. Why, Ben? When Big Ben first started marking time in eighteen sixty. Fifty-nine. The British Parliament decided that the bell needed a name. No one is sure of this true true story, but it may have been named after a me- after a member of the Parliament, Sir Benjamin Hall, whose nickname was Big Ben. At a meeting, at a meeting meeting called specifically to choose the bell's name. Sir Benjamin gave a long speech. In fact, his name is carved on the bell. According to another story, the bell might have been named after a large and famous heavyweight boxer of the time, Benjamin Count, Count, who shared the nickname Big Ben. London, Big Ben and the palace, and the palace of Westminster, also known as Parliament. Stand on the banks of the River Thames in London. The palace is the center government, center of government for the United Kingdom, made of England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. The last king to live in the palace was Westminster. Of Ma- Westminster, Westminster was Henry VIII. Henry moved out of the palace after a fire in fifteen twelve, and made nearby, and made nearby Whitehall Palace his residence. A plot to destroy Parliament. Nearly two hundred years after Henry VIII moved, VIII moved out of the palace. A a guy, a man named Guy Fox, and five others, diverged the plot to blow, to blow up, the houses of Parliament. Angry that they, they weren't allowed to practice their religion as they wished, they sneaked thirty six barrels of gunpowder, into the basement under the houses of the, of Parliament. Knowing the king would be there, they planned to blow up the building in November fifth, nineteen 
1605. Luckily for the king, the men were were all caught, charged with trying to overthrow the government and executed. To this day, people in the UK celebrate the king's survival on November 5th as Guy Fawkes Day, or Bonfire Night. The Great Fire of 1834. Over 200 years after Guy Fawkes were captured on October 16, 1834, two workmen were carrying out orders to burn a large quantity of sticks that people used as an early accounting system. They also turned told to burn these sticks inside the furnaces of the basement of Paramount. Visitors in Paramount that they noticed an unusual amount of heat rising through the floor and smoke escaping through the floor floorboards. The workmen continued to burn the sticks and put the furnaces out at 5 p.m. An hour later, at 6 p.m., the parliament was completely in flames. All the buildings in the Westminster Palace were eventually destroyed except for Westminster Hall. An ambitious rebuilding. Six years after a great, the Great Fla Fire of 1834, a contest was held to find the architect architect to design a new Westminster, Pal Westminster Palace. The winner was Charles Barry. Building the structure was neither a quick nor a cheap task. It took 30 years and cost much than more than was estimated before the project was finally completed in 1870. Charles Barry was helped by another architect, Augustus Puggin, who managed a design, the design and decorated the clock towers for four clock faces. Sadly, Charles Barry and Augustus Puggin, Puggin did not live long enough to see their work completed. Puggin died in 1852, and Barry in 1860. Today, people can admire Barry and Pungin's work. Westminster has three towers on the side of the Houses of Parliament, the, the Elizabeth Tower, the Victoria Tower, and the Central Tower. For many years, the Victoria Tower, Victoria Tower was the largest square town, largest stone tower in the world. The Elizabeth Tower, which houses Big Ben, stands over 96 meters tall. Workers used stone from England and France to build the tower and iron beams to support it. The basis of the tower is almost 3 meters underground. The 91 meter central tower was designed as a chimney for smoke from the fireplace inside the palace. Two houses. The British Parliament is made up of two separate houses. The British people elected members of the House Commons to debate, debate and vote on possible laws. Members of the Houses of the Lords are not elected. Some have titles such as Lord and Lady and others are an important member of the church church of england which approval approval make the lords and the commons new laws are made and become the law of the land these laws are called acts of parliament visiting westminster palace westminster palace anyone can visit parliament and take our and take tours, watch watch debates, and even have afternoon tea. United Kingdom residents can climb 344 steps on the top to the top of the Elizabeth Tower, and they can get an amazing view of London. They can also view Big Ben to a special room where they can see exactly how the great giant clock works. The clock was designed to mark time, 
to within one second, one second a month. The pendulum was adjusted using a stack of old British pennies. Pennies, adding or, or subtracting a penny changes time by one fifth of a second. Two fifths of a second, then and now. Over centuries, Westminster had has held many events, including huge feasts and parties. Many of these events happened when a new king or queen became crown, was being crowned. At King Richard III's coronation in 1483, workers served huge amounts of food for 3,000 people. Parliament have all, has some old rules that are still around today. Since 1632, no English queen or queen, king or queen, has been permitted to go inside the House of Commons. Also, no one may wear a suit of armor inside the palace of Westminster. This law dates back 700 years. A much loved world landmark. People who live in the United Kingdom, as well as visitors, are familiar with, ch- with the chiming. Of well, chiming of Big Ben, the bell rings every fifteen minutes. The chimes are heard live on TV at midnight every New Year's Eve, and each November eleven, the entire country stops for two minutes of silence. On that day, on that day, Big Ben rings at eleven a.m to honor those who have lost their lives in wars. Since the time it was built, the palace ha- has been popular to visitor with visitors to London. Today, 13 million people visit the country- city every year. Westminster Palace, the Elizabeth Tower, and the Big Ben are the most famous symbols of Britain.